Pluval stratum, one of the most popular substrates for planted aquariums. Common knowledge and manufacturers dictate that almost everything going into the bottom of the tank gets rinsed. But is that actually ruining our clarity and clogging our filters? Today we're putting that advice to the test with a no rinse, light rinse, and heavy rinse comparison for stratum. What happens when you follow the instructions? And what happens when you don't? Let me burn some money so you don't have to and let's find out together. To ensure a fair test, I used identical jars and measured out equal amounts of stratum for each tree. Treatment. The rinsing was done using a DIY strainer, with the light rinse being a gentle swirl under the running water, and the heavy rinse involving more vigorous agitation. After rinsing, I carefully transferred the substrate into jars and topped them with water. To prevent the stratum from being disturbed and clouding the results, I used small plastic caps to protect the substrate during water pouring. Without this precaution, there might not have been much difference between the treatments at all. The results were pretty surprising. The no-rinse jar far outperformed the other two. Its water cleared quickly, making it the obvious winner. The light rinse jar came in second place. It had significant clouding initially, but most of it cleared pretty quickly, leaving just a faint haze. The heavy rinse jar was a mess for the entire first day, with the most clouding by far. While it cleared significantly overnight, there was a, a noticeable haze still remaining. What's frustrating is that Fluval's website actually recommends rinsing, yet even light rinsing caused more cloudiness than skipping it altogether. One surprise during the experiment was the structural integrity of the substrate. Despite heavy rinsing, the stratum retained its shape surprisingly well when in the water. However, while I was cleaning up, I found the soil balls broke pretty easily when handled, this suggests that while rinsing doesn't degrade the substrate immediately, it could become an issue with prolonged handling or disturbance. By the next morning, all three jars had settled significantly. The no rinse jar remained crystal clear, while the light rinse jar showed a faint haze, and the heavy rinse jar still had some clouding. This shows that while rinsing affects initial cloudiness, long-term clarity can still be achieved, though the no rinse method remains the most efficient. So, should you rinse flu stratum? Based on this test, my recommendation is to skip rinsing altogether. It's less work, avoids unnecessary clouding, and allows the substrate to perform as intended. If you're concerned about initial cloudiness when filling your tank, take extra care to pour water gently and avoid agitating the substrate. What's been your experience with Fluval Stratum? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more aquarium experiments. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.